Hello everybody, uh, it's me again in the fourth week already, time is basically flying. Uh, before I introduce you to the topic of uh, this fourth week, uh, I welcome you in our newly established uh, studio, our multimedia studio. In reality it's just a green screen and I'm using a free application which is called TouchCast. But just to show you that in very little time with a very low budget you can create actually nice audiovisuals and this is a good example of video uh, footage. Secondly, someone asked me also uh, how come that the visual outlook of your learning management s system is so nice and because a lot of you use Moodle uh, already, we can immediately refer the latest version 3.1 has a functionality which is called grids and that allows you in a very visual way to present topic by topic actually throughout the scope of your uh, course. And speaking of topics, topic this week is e-moderation and uh, e-facilitation and again we will follow the structure of four uh, elements starting of course with our appetizer where we get inspired by some tricks and tips of online facilitation and moderation which will lead to the second uh, part where we go a little bit more in depth food for thought as usual and see what kind of models are out there you will see the models could come from academia but they also could come from uh, practitioners uh, you will see George Siemens out there I think Tony Carr will be out there Julie Salmon which is actually a good example where academia meets practitioners this book e-moderating and her other book uh, e-tivities are very practical and pragmatical ways or how you can translate a model of e-moderation which consists of five different phases in the practice of your own project and that's the scope of that session don't look at these models just as theoretical models but also see how could we translate them in your uh, project how could we combine them with your own personal experience as an online uh, facilitator then the digestive section our third section is not an assessment this week but we invite you to participate in a collective brainstorming exercise where the 34 participants that are here in this course uh, are going to contribute to one overall question how could we improve our e-moderation and e-facilitation and the final result will be tapping into the collective intelligence of this group which might be a good example of user generated content driven process so that by the end of this week we have a new resource actually built by you and it can be used in the next edition of our lifelong e-learning course last but not least we actually are going to look back to our e-learning project no new assignment this week but based on what you see this week in terms of e-moderation and e-facilitation what could that mean for your own e-learning project are you developing a course where e-moderation will be an important element and how do you see your own e-moderation strategy so together with your coaches in the project room which was actually activated last week you could maybe focus on that i know that last week you focused on your target audience through the empathy map well this week you could maybe focus a bit more on e-moderation so these are, let's say, the four parts of uh, this week. Uh, I hope you will have, uh, again, an interesting week. If the speed is too fast, don't um, panic. This is kind of usual. If there's a lot of information overload, also don't panic again, but choose the information, choose the links that are relevant for your project. As I've said, we are with a very heterog heterogeneous group with different needs and different interests. That's almost mission impossible to capture everything. Just capture what you need, capture what you think you need for your own project so that by the end of the eight weeks, we have already a solid prototype ready. And that's it for now. So enjoy the week.